For almost every decision you make in life, for wh whatever problem you encounter, there's usually at least two solutions. And, and most things have a easy solution, and then a lot of problems have a hard solution as well. And generally, why is it that most people naturally just gravitate to always choosing the easy path, right? If there's two roads that lead you somewhere, 99% of the population will choose the easy path every single time. And I really don't know why. Well, I say I don't know why. I kind of know why most people choose the easy path. They choose the easy path because it's easy, right? But is it the best path? And most of the time, I would argue that the best path is not the easiest path. Think about everything you're trying to accomplish in life, whatever problem it is you're wanting to solve, whether it be with fitness or nutrition or computers or uh, your relationships, your financial situation, whatever it happens to be, whatever it is, all the problems you have in life, think about the solutions to solving some of those problems. Make a list. Actually, type out a list on your computer. Or get a pencil and paper and jot down easy solutions for some of your problems and hard solutions for some of your problems. Which one is better in the long term? The hard solution is almost always the better choice, but most people just don't do it. Uh, a lot of it is because people are lazy, right? You're going to do the easy thing because the hard thing is just too much work, right? The other thing is people don't like change. Usually the hard solution is something you've never done before, right? That's why it's hard. The hard solution is usually something that most people would not choose. I mean, that's, you know, one of my favorite movies is a Tom Hanks movie called A League of Their Own. And it's about a women's professional baseball league that sprung up in the U.S. during World War II. And in that movie, someone's talking about uh, it being hard, talking about professional sports, professional baseball. And he says, of course, it's hard. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And that's it. I mean, that's, that tells you everything you need to know about choosing the easy path versus the hard path. If it was easy, everyone would do it. And that's right. Everyone can do the easy solution. So if we're assigning value to an easy solution or a hard solution, right, the easy path or the hard path, how, how valuable is choosing the easy path? It's not really valuable at all because everyone chooses that, right? Everyone does the easy thing. No one does the hard thing, right? The hard thing actually has real world value. If you're doing the hard things in life, that's valuable, right? You could actually sell that, right? You can make money off of that. You can't sell the easy thing for anything because why would I buy your easy thing? I can do the easy thing myself. It's really one of those things that you kind of have to train yourself to do the hard things in life. The easy path, I mean, obviously it's easy. It's, it's known, right? It, it's something you know how to do because you've always done the easy thing, right? So it's not scary. And, you know, it's one of those things you have to make yourself do the hard things in life. And once you overcome some of these hard things, you know, then it becomes easier to do the next hard thing and the next hard thing. And then you start enjoying doing the hard things in life. You welcome the challenges in life. And one of the little secrets to life is that the hard things are usually a blessing in disguise. If you choose the hard path, that's almost always the better path in the long term because uh, think about it when you're fixing your computer, fixing your car, fixing something around the house, you know, plumbing or whatever it happens to be, uh, there's a leaky pipe or whatever, you know, do you just go grab the duct tape and throw some duct tape on it, right? <laughs> that's, what, that's what a lot of people do. Or do you actually fix the problem the hard way which actually solves the problem for the long term. If you, if you choose the hard solution, you'll actually fix the problem and you won't have to come back to it a few weeks or a few months down the road. If you choose the easy path, a lot of times it ends up being more work than if you would have just done what you know you should have done in the beginning. So really, this is just a call to action for everyone watching this video. Think about all the problems in your life, we all have a laundry list of problems and think about the solutions to fix those problems. Just, you know, always think about this. The easy fix is almost always not the long lasting fix. And the easy fix, if you're assigning a value to it, 
is practically worthless. And once you start realizing that, that the easy fixes are actually a waste of your time, then you'll start doing the things that you know you should be doing in life. Ran over, guys. Peace.